students in the state of meghalaya there are many local languages one of the local language is khasi when i was uh, traveling in meghalaya the driver which was provided to us he was speaking in khasi so i didn't understand it so later i asked him in hindi that what language you are talking in and uh, why you are talking in this language so they were t- he told me that it's a local language it's khasi language and i was talking to my mother that's why because she doesn't know hindi language she understands only khasi language why i am giving you this example because the next chapter which we are going to start today is computer language in computer computer doesn't understand all the languages computer understands only single language so let's jump into the video to the summer of love students in this session the topics which we are going to cover are computer language program and programmer types of computer languages low level language types of low level languages triple l means low level languages now before i jump into the matter let me tell you something about language language is a form of communication okay language is the key thing through which people communicate with each other isn't it like every country use their different different languages we have our uh, mother tongue mother language we have our official language we share a common language so language is basically through which we communicate with each other now machines machines they can, cannot convey their messages to us they if we need to communicate with machines we need to learn machine language also because machine understand machine language the way human understand human language so let's get into the topic now computer language is what it's a special language understood by the computer which is made up of a set of words symbols code etc it's some kind of special words some kind of special symbols they use it's just like not like anything they use okay now what exactly computer understand computer understand machine languages which, which is made of zero and one if you know that computer understands what only zero and one and the combination of zero and one create certain language and that is what machine language in this picture you can see there are so many things has been written in the form of 0 1 0 1 0 you can see that sometimes you can see some letters also uh, these are some advanced things because after 10 they use uh, certain letters like a b c d e f so after f you won't be getting any kind of letter till f only you will be getting letters if you please follow this you would understand so these are some higher things let's understand this much only that computer understands machine language which is made of 0 and 1 now <clears throat> three different terms we have over here what is a program what is a programmer and programming a program is a set of instruction given to a computer to complete a task it's just kind of instructions which is being provided to the computer to complete certain particular task now it can be anything it can be addition it can be subtraction it can be playing a song it can be playing a movie it can be different different thing so the set of instructions which has designed for particular thing that is program now who design it some people with some good knowledge about coding they develop it so that's why they will be called as programmer the people who write the programs those who are writing not everybody we use it we are the users but somebody made it for us no so that's why they are the programmer now what is programming then this total process the programmer writing the program and executing uh, everything the total process is called programming now so the programming will be what the process of writing the programs by the programmer that is called programming so program is what is being written the instructions programmer the person who writes it and programming the process through which programmer makes a program so if simple way these are the programs and this person writes it that's why he is the programmer and he is doing all this stuff that's the sen- entire thing will be called as programming next types of computer languages computer languages is categorized into two sections some is high level language and some is some is high level and some is low level in this section we will be discussing only about low level high level we will be discussing in the next video low level languages what is a low level language the languages which are very close and common to machines they are cl- uh, low level languages a programming language is closer to machine language than to human language because human languages 
will be higher level languages so the languages which is understood by the machines which is uh, used in the machine for designing for developing for programming those will be called as low level languages and here we see uh, it contains basic instructions recognized by the computer the machines which they will recognize it contains those kind of instructions it is again categorized into two section one is machine language one is assembly language let's one by one understand what they are it's a first generation language if you remember we had five generation in each generation we were using not we the programmers used different different types of languages okay in the first generation they used machine language and assembly language those were low level languages so what is what is special about machine level language uh, it is the first generation language it is made up of zeros and ones it is directly understood by the computer because computer understands only zero and one so it is being understood by him or by it directly uh, it's a machine dependent machine dependent means it's not platform independent means if you transfer it from one machine to another this there will be certain problem into it it's not portable so you cannot just transfer it okay so in a machine language if i give you a certain example uh, at the right side of this uh, picture if you see if i want to add 5 plus 7 normally 5 plus 7 is 12 but how the machine will add it it will convert 5 as a combination of binary digits and convert 7 as a combination of binary digits then they will add it and they will find the result this is the conversion of binary digits by, uh, sorry this is a conversion of decimal digits into binary digits these conversions you will be learning in around class 6 or 7 and so on now what is assembly language it's a second generation language in the first generation which language was used machine language in the second generation assembly language was used the, uh, in the first generation they used only 0 and 1 it was made up of 0 and 1 uh, the machine language but the assembly language is made up of letters words and symbols and they used mnemonics if you uh, see this word mnemonic uh, there are some certain abbreviation uh, not abbreviation short forms kind of short forms which were used to perform certain operation suppose if somebody wants to move something so they will use the command mov move uh, it has to be translated into machine language because uh, we know that computer doesn't understand any other language not high language uh, high level not any other language it understands only zero and one so if you are using any high level language other than machine language that particular language has to be converted into machine language uh, and for assembly language who helps it Trans uh, assembler assembler helps to translate the machine language uh, sorry assembly language into machine language out here assembler helps it so let's see some examples of uh, some examples of machine level language here you see there's a memory address whatever we store in the computer it stays in the memory so in memory there was a certain value is stored or moved like 500 and 501 these values has been uh, the uh, contents of these memory location 500 0 and 501 has been moved to these registers those has been added and uh, some decimal adjustments has been done so I know you people won't understand this mnemonic codes because it's not your job to understand it right now because you have to start it from the basics for assembly language it's it was just an example take it as an example only here uh, the program is what to add two numbers this is the program to add two numbers in assembly language previous one uh, previous one was there to add two uh, numbers in uh, machine language and this one here to add two numbers in assembly language they are totally different don't they yes uh, so that's all for today uh, if uh, these are some questions you need to understand uh, write the answers in the comment section uh, if you haven't understand any concept please write it down that also I will try to resolve the matter and the next part of this chapter that is high level language will be covered up in the next video I hope you like the video uh, share the video and write in the comment section the answers uh, which I have asked in this video write those answers in the comment section uh, subscribe the channel and, and active the bell icon if you are new so that you will be getting all video uploads, all video notifications which I upload time to time. Thank you.